fellas, check this out. Go and join my Patreon and get on that Mac and session. Episode one, two, you know, so on, so on, so on. It's about to go down. It's about to get extra lit over there on that Patreon. And this is for you fellas out there that want some of that, um, some of that game, that real game. A game to teach you guys how to actually elevate yourself in your mouthpiece to conversate with these women in the right way. That's why you need to go over there and get on that Mackin session with KC. Go join that Mackin session with KC, episode one and episode two, and we're going to have three, four, five, and so on and so on going. But you got to be Patreon exclusive. You got to get on that Patreon in order to join it. Otherwise, you're not going to get it on YouTube. Go and join that Patreon. Like, please let me go hide and find a place. I'm drunk. You I know, know you're that? drunk. I can smell it. I know. So now you're DWI too. Please don't do that. I fuck you. No. I'm not. Stop talking. I don't have no STD. Stop talking. I swear. Stop talking. Fuck it. Stop. Hey. Stop. I will fuck you. Get out of space. Stop. I don't care. Turn around. I'm drunk. You don't let me go to jail? Seriously, don't fuck my whole life. I won't fuck with you, Mike. I have no excuse. Let me go. Just stay out. Stop talking. I will not do this no more. Please. I'm gonna get back to my kids. I'm drunk. Dude, this is racist. Please, Moses. Please. Please don't let me go to jail. Get in. I'm a good. Get in. Get in the car. Get your feet in. Okay. She wild as fuck, ain't she? Plus, she had you body count guys thinking that she don't even move down. You know, she don't she don't move like that. She don't get down like this. She had you guys thinking that. We're gonna say what's good with it on this good Sunday. Let's go, Chiefs. You know, today is the Chiefs Day. We um about to get it in with the Bengals, and we're gonna see what we can do that way, you know. Kind of got me on edge, but at the same time, psh, I'm a harm's doubt. Y'all already know what it is. You know, it's it's whatever, man. It's, and it's going down. Shouts out to the Chiefs, man. Yeah. I'm going to make the intro short because I got to get to some things, do some game day prepping or whatnot. I got a, you know, a little situation, a little situation coming through. So we're going to get it going, you dig? Got my little mini fro growing out, growing my little hair out and shit. You know, it's too cold. We got to get it all cut down anyway, but you get what I'm saying. Just a little something, something. But, um. Like, share, subscribe at the notification bell, fellas. Like, share, subscribe at the notification bell. My video for education purposes only, fair use only. Go to my about section, my description section, and holler at me. My Patreon is in the works so hard. I mean, it's, it's I know how to load up on there now, but it's just, it, things are difficult. I don't know if it was, if it's because of me trying to get ahead or is, I don't know what the powers may be, the spiritual powers may, I don't know what the fuck going on. It's shit crazy. But, um. Uh, Go to my about section. You see the cash app. You can support the channel, the social media sites, and everything. Holler at me, man. Fellas, this is what you see now in today's time. We're dealing with um, video cameras, dash cameras. They got cameras on the street light. Everybody house got a camera on it. Hey, you get your phone. Somebody, hell, the motherfucking deer and the squirrel in the woods probably got a camera phone. Motherfucker got cameras everywhere, right? So a lot of you guys will automatically think, oh, man, this is what women do to get out of tickets, to get out of situations. They going to resort to sex. A lot of them will, fellas. Yeah, a lot of them will resort to uh, trading off their body to get ahead. Tickets and 
um, house painted. I don't care. Um, um, my porch need to be fixed. Man, my washing machine and dryer is broken down and whatnot. I don't, you know, that happens, fellas. You know, this has been going on since the beginning of the time. You know, brothels has been ran since the 1700s, 1800s. You know, and if you guys don't know, brothels is basically modern day whole house. We, we'd say whole houses in the modern times, but they say brothels back then. Same shit. You know, every city you go, got an avenue, right? It got certain parts to where hoes is hoeing up and they stripping, they selling their body. And this is how they um, make a living. Not to say that this girl come from the lifestyle, the girl in the video, come from the lifestyle of um, corner slanging, you know, slanging her body on the corner or selling that ass back page, or, um, the escort sites and certain, you know, um, underground illegal sites or whatever. You know, we got that there. The black market sites and shit. We know what's out there, right? We are not going to really say that she's coming from that world, you know? But we are, and what we are going to say is that she's utilizing a situation to her best advantage because it fits her at this time. Yeah. And a lot of women, when it fits them at that time, when, it benefits, when it's beneficial for them, they'll jump off into it. Hell, and they'll meet the next motherfucker, act like they, they ain't need, this ain't they like they ain't never seen no part of their life. Oh, my God. I can't believe women are out here doing that. And y'all will take them serious. So why complain? Excuse me. Why get mad? Why bitch? Why blame? Why want to uh, act erratic and, um, you know, just be all over the place? Why do these things when you know for a fact that this stuff occurs? <laughs> y'all know this occur. Why get mad? Why, why, um, oh my gosh, she, she has sex with so many guys. These are the things you would never know. If this camera wouldn't have been recorded, and this camera, we're going to say if this was the 90s. Oh, hit the like button for all those who come out of the 90s and y'all know what it is. That cop probably got his dick sucked. He probably the fuck, real talk. They was doing it like that back then, you know? Yeah, a lot of women trading off their body and uh, not to get tickets and shit, man. I, you know, personally, I know personally, don't want to err on. I know two cops right now. I don't know if they're still on the force or they retired or whatnot. And this is like 99, 97, somewhere around there. I know a couple cops, you know, they roll like that. Ain't got no problem with it. I know a few chicks. They roll like that. It ain't no problem with it. But in today's time, it ain't too much happening. Everything's... Recorded, you know, they permitted to uh, have their uh, audio device on and the uh, cameras in the car, so they can't really have no excuse on why these things are not uh, running and recording certain things. But um, it goes down like that. Everything she's saying in the video isn't nothing new. It's only new to the you betas and you guys who don't think that women are sexually active. Don't think that women actually get down. First person going to say, oh, man, she come out of strip club. She must, This is what she do for a living. She may not do this for a living, fellas. She may not come out of a strip club. She could come out of a two-parent home and still continue on with herself like this and, and put herself in this kind of situation and, hell, and would degrade and diminish herself like that. And could come from a two-parent home. Loving parents, caring parents. I mean, they care so much. Hell, you wouldn't you wouldn't think this, man. Private school type, yeah. Why? It's because she's utilizing what benefits her. And if she got to throw that pussy to the cop, she got to suck him up till he busts everywhere. Off in the cop car, off in the off in the forest or in the bushes, some motherfucker. Where she won't do that. She would. She could walk away. Go back to partying. Go back to kissing old boyfriend. Like nothing ever happened. Nothing ever happened. Now, if she see that she's an opportunity, you know, if she see there's an opportunity to actually um, will some money about the situation, then she's going to scream, me too. 
This cop did this. This cop did when she offered the service. When she put it out there, this is how I am. But she's going to be the one to scream me too and had this man locked up. Bash took it away, stripped of his honor, career ruined. He's been marginalized. He's financially desperate and he's going through it. Yeah. She will be the main one screaming that shit. If things was to come out and, you know, boyfriend was to happen to find out the city or, I mean, we're going to say the state happened to get a wind of what's really going on with this cop or it's been aired out there from other um, women, you know, putting it out there. You know, I gave him head. I did this and that to get released from a ticket. She's going to come up. They all will come like the Bill Cosby. They all come forward. The Harvey Wines, they all come forward. The R. Kelly's, they all come forward. You don't know who's going to come out the woodwork. And it can get done. Like it goes down like this, fella, and it happens like this. And she's going to be the same one that won't marriage later on. She's going to be the same one that wants you to take her serious and secure her. And guess what? You are. So why the fuck are y'all bitching and crying about body counts? Why? You will never know what goes on behind your back. You will never know what goes on when you're not around, when you before you met the chick. Hey, it is what it is. Like these videos, share them, and subscribe, fellas. You already know. It's the motherfucking game. And go Chiefs. Holla. And I got double back with another video just as well. Yeah. Holla. Yeah.